back to another YouTube video. Today is the day, guys. Yes, we finally got my truck back. And yes, it is finally running on point. I know I had the truck back. If y'all seen on Instagram, if you're following me on Instagram, y'all know that I had the truck back for at least three weeks. But yeah, I'm pretty much be explaining what we did to the truck and why it was here. You know, why I haven't been running it for those three weeks and why I took it to the shop. And now that it's back, you know, so we'll be explaining that right now on the video. But yeah, guys, pretty much here's the truck. She's back. I just gave her a wash yesterday because I got it back yesterday, but pretty much was just driving it around, having my fun with it. But yeah, don't mind my shit. Yes, it's fucked up. All right, guys. <laughs> but yeah, the main part is that we got the truck back and, you know, we can start working on it slowly again, but surely. But yeah, now let's get into the engine. We're going to be opening the hood and I will be showing you. Here's the finished product. We got the truck 5.3 completely stock but it does have a colder intake because the engine did not come with the intake obviously because when you take the engine apart they probably just left it off you know forgot to put it back on there so we did throw aftermarket i believe it's a spectre I'm not sure it's not a top it's not one of the best ones you could buy out there but andres he had them there he had a lot of them stock so we just threw it on the truck and we had it looks pretty clean better than the stock one obviously has a big old little air filter over there and then well yeah pretty much with the engine it's a stock 5.3 like i said but we did take it completely apart and it was fully repainted yes this part right here we painted like a little black and red but i will be changing the black and red i will be putting the stock plastic cap on there and then we will probably be doing some aftermarket valve covers and well yeah probably just black the engine the rest of the engine is completely black so yeah pretty much we'll probably be going like all black on this engine except for the Plastic will be going OEM, probably like that plastic color, pretty much looks like. Pretty much what plastic looks like. But yeah, pretty much on the engine, we pretty much just did a full refresh. We did all new lines, all new hoses, all new um, like fluids, all new spark plugs, wires. Pretty much that stuff, we, we left it just obviously OEM stuff, but new stuff. And then, well, yeah, pretty much we got the truck back running. Also, we did electric fans, so yeah, we're not having that big old little fan. This this thing's getting cool, honestly. It doesn't get past like it's usually supposed to be like around 200, and this thing doesn't go past like 180, honestly. Even when I'm gassing on it, because I was gassing on it yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much it stays cool all day. The only thing right now is that my fan wasn't working on the AC, so that's why I thought the AC we didn't. Well, that's why I didn't have no AC all day yesterday. But at the end of the day, it started blowing. So that pretty much means that we might just need to put some free on in here and we could be running with some ac and that'll be pretty badass because it's fucking hot out here it's like 100 almost every day and yesterday i mean i had to be hauling ass to get some wind you know because it's fucking hot out here but yeah pretty much everything was good and so whenever i first picked it up he was all i would come to the shop we could try it on so you could hear it turn on and we had wind turning it on the guy came and it is tuned by i believe nelson performance i believe that's what he said we went out there and did the tune to get it started up and pretty much just like a regular street tune nothing too crazy but it does have some balls i'm not gonna lie but pretty much why we had to come take it back to the shop was because pretty much when it would get warm it would pretty much just start shooting low oil pressure like it'll start not giving enough pressure pretty much to the pistons and all that stuff so it'll start giving a little tick and that was only whenever it warmed up Whenever you first turned it on, it would run perfectly fine. It's just pretty much when it warm up, it wouldn't get enough pressure. So that'll make it start ticking. So yeah, pretty much we did the, it's a, this one actually is a performance hydraulic oil pump that we did. Cause he was all like, it's better. It's not that much more just to do a performance. Also, which that's what we ended up doing. We did all new fluids again. I think he did a, he sealed, put a new seal gasket on the oil pan. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And the truck's running perfectly fine the oil pressure is perfect nothing's going on bad with that thing this thing's running on point honestly and yesterday actually when i first got out of the shop my guess my my gas thing is not reading it right and it was reading it on full and i ended up taking it off taking off from the shop and i floored it and then this thing literally just died on me on the freeway because i didn't have no fucking gas in it but yeah i appreciate andres he came to help me out and the homie roger and james came to help me pretty much get out of there i guess this thing's running good running strong and yeah we got a lot of more content now with the truck i will be probably taking it out right now showing y'all a little bit about it showing you how it sounds obviously right now 
it still has stock headers still has the same v6 muffler so it sounds a little bit like the v6 at idle but whenever you floor it that's when you hear the v8 and whenever you press it like in the street you hear it a lot more and it definitely spins out way better than my fucking v6 my v6 i would have to gas it for it to burn out this thing i barely even tap it and this thing's smoking them <laughs> literally the engine it looks pretty badass to me and obviously it's badass to have a v8 in here because it has more power compared to the v6 so yeah pretty much that we got it back now we can start doing little stuff to it i want to put new tail lights new headlights fog lights and then all the led bulbs get them all brand new because as you can see the headlights are already getting kind of ugly getting yellow i mean they still work well these these work right here these two and then this bottom led works but this one right here i don't know why it's having a problem and the head the actual bulb so it probably has to do something with the bulb that is not turning on so that's why both of them aren't turning on but yeah pretty much leds and then the fog light ended up breaking it whenever we took it off the truck so it's just hanging on there barely but i'm gonna end up fixing it soon yeah i want the fog lights though because they're all old and dirty and the tail lights well they know that we sold them to victor because the truck was just here so he wanted them so i sold them to him and they're putting my old ones on and all fucked up but we'll probably be going all original i think i want to go all original on this truck so that we can make it a show quality truck we'll do the same tail lights but brand new the same headlights but without the led but chrome brand new same chrome fog lights and then just leds all around i want to be switching this out too be putting the oem one this is the led one i believe yeah pretty much i got the fog light in there try to do my best with some zip ties <laughs> but yeah and then we try to get some the fog light on here but i didn't want to fucking turn on for some reason so we ain't gonna be running no fog lights and i try to freaking change the fuse on the turn signal because the left one doesn't work and i changed it really early i put it in real quick put the blinker on and boom popped again so i think it just needs a it says it's supposed to take a 10 but probably put a 15 20 some shit so it don't be burning because obviously it has leds on the blinker so it's probably why it burns them faster but yeah you know let's give it a little start up for y'all turns on like a champ the cold start It still sounds like relatively stock when you're driving it. You can barely even hear anything. You see, I told you I still have the same muffler, same exhaust. So, yeah, pretty much sounds stock. But when you floor it, it does sound a little bit louder. I'll give you a little revving video right now. good old v8 stock sound yeah pretty much so every floor on the get on the freeway and stuff or well, whenever you're burning out it does sound like a v8 but yeah i do yeah it sounds like a v6 so but we might be cutting off the muffler just because i kind of wanted to have some sound and then we'll just throw like a regular aftermarket like i don't know corsa flowmaster we'll see what we throw on their gorilla and then we'll obviously we'll do the headers but obviously we're gonna do the headers when we take it back to andres so yeah but i pretty much just want to keep it like a stock sound this just sounds like a little bit like a vehicle. But yeah, pretty much whenever it would get about like normal heat, you know, like to, to 200 pretty much, like a little bit before that middle line, that's when it would, all the oil pressure would start going down like to like at least right here, which is bad at idle. And then, well, yeah, that's pretty much not sure enough pressure, but that's pretty much where the idle should be, or at least at the middle there in idle. And then when you rev it, well, it should be should go up like that all the time you know because obviously you're pushing more gas so you're pushing more pressure but yeah this right here it doesn't even go past this line though now so this thing is always cool so it never even gets warm so that's good so that, especially for this heat because it's hot as hell but yeah guys that's gonna be pretty much it for this video i want to thank you for the continuous support you know and i hope y'all are ready for the new legacy of the scraping 5.3